It's out. We so close to being gone. 16, 15,000 of them. We've got a Yesterday, couple of thousand yeah. left. Okay, so here we are. I'm holding my beautiful brand new Santuku knife hammered finish. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, you might not have a knife this good for Thanksgiving. You might be dealing with what's already in your drawer. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Maybe you pick it up and you're like, oh, that one's really blunt. This one is super blunt. Uh, let me try this one. Yes, that's blunt too. Now, I could give you a stone. I could give you a steel. I could teach you how to sharpen it. But guess what? It took me about five years to perfect it. It's going to take you just as long. Forget about it. I've got a tool for you that is right here that does it all for you. Let me just show you something, all right? Let me let me find a really blunt one. Here's, here's, a, here's a blunt one. Let me sharpen this guy up. Look, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So three in each side. Then I move over here. We number these for you. That's one, two, three, four, right? So we tell you to do it three times on the first two and then three times on the next two. You get all this information in the booklet and you create a beautiful sharp knife, right? This was just super blunt. Let me just prove to you that it is now gorgeous and sharp. Can you see that? Awesome. Perfect, right? Do you want me to dull it? Yes, please. Okay, because I want you to, I want to prove to you that it was blunt a second ago. Look at this. <laughs> I'm just ruining Ruining the blade here Does on the steel. Does that make you squeamish when oh, you do that? It does. Let me ruin this one too. <laughs> I'm going to ruin that one as well. You know, so I, w I really want you to know that these these are now super, super dull. Let me try that <laughs> trick with the tomato again. <laughs> not so good. <laughs> yep, not so good. Squashing the tomato doesn't work, right? Let me try it with a pepper. Does it? Can I even cut through that? No. Even even something <laughs> as you know normally so simple to cut through. Right. Let me bring it back to sharp. Okay. Let me slow down. Here, I'm going to turn this around. We're starting on the coarse wheel. This is an aluminum oxide wheel. There's one there, two there. You're going to run it through three times each. Then you come over here to fine. There's four and five. You're going to run it through three times each. It is that simple. All right, I turn it back to me. Let's get this working. You'll see the odd spark fly off. That's normal because what's happening is that aluminum oxide is actually just wearing down that steel ever so slightly. So you can see how I'm pulling that through nice and slowly all the way to the end. Then you move over to this side. If you want to swap hands, you can. Now you're just keeping it on the outside of the plastic there, right? So it's very, very easy to put it in. So it takes about 45 seconds, maybe a minute. Turn it off. Now let's go back to the exact same pepper or that we just couldn't cut. Look at that, it's crazy. Now look at that, perfectly sharp. So imagine when it comes time to, for you, we couldn't cut a tomato a minute ago, could we? Watch this. That's crazy. Wait, chef, real quick. Yeah. Um, just so you know, we have less than a thousand of these available. If you are like me, this is one of my favorite features. Mm. He's gonna get to it, but I don't want you to miss out on it. I am a huge crafter chef. Oh yeah. I will easily spend 26, even much more than that, buying scissors. I go through them tons because well, I do let, fabric. Let me show you. And I cut paper all the time. We put the scissor in here. You my mum's You can sharpen saying. your scissors. She's a crafter, and you yeah. can now sharpen your scissor. Look at that one. And our scissors are the most two. important thing we use when it comes to crafting. We're cutting everything exactly. all the time. Exactly. No, my mum tells me the same thing, right? and she's like. I, I can remember as a kid, I'd pick up her scissors and she'd be like, don't you cut with that! Exactly, okay. right? <laughs> These were blunt scissors, and now watch this. So for those of you who, ju if you just bought this because you have pretty nice, important scissors in your collection, Amazing. like you sew, you do quilting, get it just for that scissor sharpening. An Imagine how great knife, your knives are going to be. Yeah. An old fishy knife, a fillet you know, knife. a fisherman or a hunter. Guess yeah. what? Get this for their birthday. Get this for their, their holiday present. Watch this. All right, we're going to go to the phones because we have a fan who loves your knives especially. It's Michael oh, yeah. joining us from Louisiana. Hi, Michael. You're on with Chef Curtis Stone. Hey, Welcome. Michael. Hello, Chef. Uh, Great to uh, see you. Um, sorry, the young lady you with, I don't know her name. It's okay. But, Suzanne. Uh, <laughs> Suzanne, how are you? I'm very good, you, thank you. All right, my darling. Um, let me tell you, Chef, you yeah. produce some great products. Thank you so uh, much. Louisiana, you have a Louisiana <laughs> spice yes. in your collection? Yes. You sure do. Uh, yeah. You said it's another country, and yes, it is, but I'm not bragging. <laughs> uh, most men in South Louisiana cook. I'm from southeastern Louisiana. That's awesome. Uh, Chef, you're an inspiration. I have met you before. Oh, no shaking way. your hand when you were coming through the Delta Crown Room Club. Yes. And uh, you are a real decent person. Yes, he oh, is. thanks, yeah. mate. You're that means real. Real to me. You That's are for awesome. real. Um, I did some chicken sausage 
jambalaya yeah. with shrimp today. Okay. And, uh, Yum. I know you're into that. So. Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for what you do for us. Oh, Your mate, you're so welcome. Great. I have them. I have endured the products. <laughs> and uh, you really, really do well. Yeah. Thanks, really Mike. Well, thank I you, I really Michael. appreciate it, mate. Well, that it's nice so to meet you a second time, and I hope to see you in another Delta Airlines somewhere. Um, <laughs> but good on you, mate. Thank you so much for giving us a ring. You know, it's so fun. We're talking about Louisiana. I was talking. I took my mum um, and stepdad out for breakfast this morning. We went, and they're like, "What's grits?" What's what's this? What's crawfish? <laughs> you know, we're, we're down here in South Florida, right. um, and I'm, I'm trying to show, and I'm like, there's just a world of food that comes out of that place. Absolutely. Louisiana is such a cool Some joint. Of the best food in the world. And we did, you know, I've, I've got Flavors of the World is a spice set that I do, and it's, it's Italy, yeah, amazing, food mecca. Mexico, incredible flavors. Hawaii, we love the flavors of Hawaii. And then Louisiana, because to me, that's the fourth country. That's, that's the <laughs> Hawaii, too. Hawaii, you made Hawaii yeah. a country well, as well. Hawaii is always a country in my mind. <laughs> Okay, red and black, guys, even if you have a single knife and you spend a lot of money on it, it's going to get dull. Why buy it? You know what a lot of people do? They buy Look, new knives. I'm sharpening knives. my screwdriver. But isn't it crazy to buy new knives just because yours is dull? You might right. as well just you get a great well sharpener. You might as well just get a great sharpener and you'll have new, new knives forever. So right. this is the answer. And we spend a lot of money on knives. And I don't care how good the quality is, they will get dull. For those of you, once again, if you're like me, I'm a big crafter. I just ruin scissors because I'm always cutting paper and cardboard and right. the heavy fabrics and all that kind of crazy stuff. Now, keep those expensive scissors nice and sharp. All you have to do is get the knife sharpener. I don't want you to miss out, though. We have now sold over 400. That means I have about 600 left, and wow. then this is completely gone. Here's the black, here's the red. You know what's nice about this? This is the gift for anybody who oh, has yeah. knives. Oh, yeah, Imagine for sure. that. Everybody. Everybody Everyone. could really use this. Okay, so let me just show this to you one more time. I just sharpened this, okay. right? Watch this. Oh, gosh. This was a blunt, dull, dull, dull knife i can now go through an entire head of salary you know i can get myself a beautiful um, tomato after doing that see how it's holding its edge it's not going blunt straight after which is really important that's great awesome. okay gotta have it. we gotta move because you know we're a lot about to sell out but of this a lot puppy. of accidents happen in the kitchen because of dull knives dull knives that's right? how you you do, you do, it's yeah. actually oh, super oh we're going <laughs> we have so much <laughs> going on <laughs>